Hey guys, my app, GraphQL Network Inspector, has just passed 100,000 users on the Chrome store. People have asked in the past if I actually make any money off this app, and although it's completely free, I still have managed to monetize it. So in this video, I wanna teach you exactly how to monetize free apps and extensions, and how much I make from my extension with 100,000 users. So my app is called GraphQL Network Inspector, and it's a free developer tool helping web developers working with GraphQL. It allows them to easily inspect network traffic and it's a slight enhancement on the standard network tools built into Chrome. I'm a full-time developer myself and I built the app purely out of a problem that I was facing working on a project a few years ago. I spent a few hours one weekend creating an MVP, I popped it on Reddit, put it on the Chrome store and then just thought nothing of it. A few weeks later I looked at the analytics and noticed that it had about a thousand users so I figured it was quite useful and started contributing to more and more features. Every time I created a few more features I just put another post on Reddit but left it at that. There was no intention at the time to monetize it. Over the years it slowly grew as people were talking about it and now five years later it's slowly grown organically to a hundred thousand monthly active users. So if it's completely free how do I actually make money off it? Well there's two ways to make money off free products. One is sponsorships and two is top of the funnel marketing. So the obvious one being sponsorships. If the product is free and open source and it contributes to any kind of ecosystem, in this case GraphQL, some people will be willing to sponsor. So there's sponsorships on GitHub and a company called The Gold who are massive open source contributors to GraphQL have kindly offered $500 per month to sponsor the project to contribute towards the development so I can focus some time every month looking at GitHub issues, feature requests, and then building features myself. The second is top of the funnel marketing. So although people don't pay for the app itself and it always will remain completely free and open source, I've built a sister product called GraphDev, which is a premium tool. This has a server side component, so I do incur costs and therefore it has a subscription attached to it as well. On the network inspector, there's a button called export. When you click it, it sends the user to GraphDev with their data so then they can share links and collaborate on their schema with their colleague. If people like that app, they can choose to subscribe. So GraphQL Network Inspector is purely a marketing channel for that service. It brings me about 5,000 unique visits per month which would cost a huge amount in ads. The difference is the upfront investment. With ads, it's an initial investment of time and money, but the ads will cost money forever. The extension in this case is now completely free. The extension in this case cost me nothing, so I have 5,000 unique visits per month, costing me zero pence. Now, the same can be true for any kind of tool that's free. So it could be e-products like Notion templates, plugins for things like Shopify, Figma, or the route I've taken, Chrome extensions. So you can focus on building useful things, putting it out there for free, but using them as a way to promote other products. So try and think of simple, single feature products that you can put out there that are useful to people that don't cost anything and use them to promote your premium apps. If you build up a bank of these products, you can start bringing in more and more traffic to your website and products that cost money. As I mentioned, I haven't spent a penny advertising the Chrome extension. It has been a slow burner though. It's taken almost five years to get to the 100,000 mark. The benefit is now all of this is happening organically. I've got a system in place. People find the Chrome extension, they click through to my website or product, and then I naturally get drip fed unique users every month that are willing to sign up. The benefit as well is that the traffic source is highly valuable. So if you can find users that have a certain problem and solve it for free, when you present them with a premium option, they're probably in the same mindset. So in my case, it's developers working specifically with GraphQL. So when they get redirected to a premium tool, that is for developers working with GraphQL, they're far more likely to pay for the product rather than if I was just to post something randomly on Instagram or Reddit. The benefit of posting on a marketplace as well like Chrome is that it's free advertisement. When people face a problem, they can go onto Chrome, they search for a solution and your app will come up immediately. So rather than building something like a website where it's just out there on the internet, it's really hard to market. So for free tools, try and get them on a marketplace and I think you'll do far better than if it was just a standard website. You can do this with no following as well. I've got barely any social following. I never promoted it on any social channels, except from Reddit, which pretty much anyone can post on as well. Now, if you want to build a Chrome extension yourself, the code is completely free and open source, so go to the GitHub page, 
I've left a link in the description. You can clone it, modify it, do whatever you like with it. I don't mind. And if you want me to go into more detail about how to build these kind of tools, I can make more videos on it. Just let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.